Hi, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an email with ChatGPT. And I'm also going to let you know about a free tool I found, a free plugin for Chrome, or you can use it with Brave as well, that will respond to emails for you using ChatGPT. It's amazing. So first of all, let's just talk about what you can do with this in terms of writing emails. Um, I can have it literally write me an email on anything about anything based on what information I give it. So let's just come up, there's a million business case uses for this, but let's just do uh, this one um, just as a bit of a fun example. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write an email to my wife apologizing that I'll be late home uh, from work, um, but I'll make it up to her. So let's just see what it can do uh, with that little scenario right there. Can you please write an email to my wife whose name is Hannah and let her know that I'm going to be one hour late home uh, from the office as I have so much work to do. But please let her know that I will make it up to her when I come back and take her out for a lovely meal at her favorite restaurant. All right, there we go. Let's see what it can do with that. So subject late from the office like it. Um, dear Hannah, we'll probably make that a little less formal and we can do that with ChatGPT as well. Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to let you know that I will be one hour late coming home from the office. I have a lot of work to do, but I promise to make it up to you when I get back. I'll take you out for a lovely meal at your favorite restaurant. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and I look forward to seeing you soon love and then my name so you know that's pretty good um i'm gonna say now though can you uh can you make it seem a little less formal and add some humor so i think that'd be that'd be a good way to to freshen that up a little bit running late but don't worry the food will be worth it there we go uh, hey, love, just a heads up, I'm going to be a bit late coming home from the office. Apparently my boss doesn't believe in weekends and vacation days. So I've got a ton of work to finish up. But don't worry, I promise it'll all be worth it when we chow down at your favourite restaurant tonight. Uh, I know you're probably thinking, oh no, another excuse to get out of doing the dishes. But I assure you it's not the case. I just want to make sure that I can give you the best evening possible. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Can't wait to see you soon. Wow, I tell you what, if my wife got that email from me, she would be super happy when I got in um, instead of maybe angry. So maybe chat's GPT can save marriages. Who knows? But um, there's a, so many other use cases for it. If you're like in e-commerce, you can get it to write you cart abandonment sequence emails where you try and get people to go back and finish their purchase. There's, there's welcome emails, onboarding emails for SaaS businesses. There's so many use cases. I thought I'd show you a bit of a fun one. Now, this other extension that I wanted to let you know about that has uh, been fantastic, actually. I've just been experimenting with it. And you can use this, as I say, uh, definitely on the Chrome browser and also the Brave browser, which are pretty much the same thing these days. Um, but if I go to my email right now, let me just show you. I've got an email here from a fixed fictitious person, i.e. me, um, asking for a refund on a mattress that I've sold them here. So it says, you know, dear John, unfortunately, after spending a night on the double memory foam mattress your company has sold me, I found it uncomfortably soft and I'd like to return it for a full refund, please. How do I go about having it picked up and shipped back to you? So what I can do is now just press this little button here, the the, the, re, the, re, the, re, the reply button. And now down the bottom, you see this little icon. Let me just see if I can zoom in on it. There you go, this one. And I can just press that now. And I can just tell it very briefly what to reply to this email with. And so um, we've got the email there. So this is actually going to be working with ChatGPT in the background. You need ChatGPT uh, logged in and in the background kind of open and working. But you can just do it from here instead of going to chat GPT. So I'm just going to say um, write a reply to this email and I can just click generate reply if I want to just see what it will do, or I can tell it specific things that I would like it to say. So um, can you write reply to this email and suggest that they give it another 10 days to see if it feels better. And if not, 
then by all means get back in touch for a refund. So there we go. I'll just do that. Click generate reply and then it will come up with uh, hopefully a nice response to that. Here it comes. Dear Jason, thank you for email. We're sorry to hear that the mattress isn't meeting your comfort needs. We understand that it can take some time to adjust to a new sleeping surface. So we suggest giving it at least 10 days before making a final decision. If after that time you still find the mattress to be too soft, please let us know and we'll be happy to arrange for a pickup and full refund. Please let us know if you have any further con uh, questions or concerns. I am super ha happy with that. So I just click this one button that says insert generated response and there we go done click send and it's and it's happened that's it we've done it so that is a great use case there of using chat gbt with this free uh, plugin and i'll show you where that is right now um first of all remember you do have to have chat gpt logged in and open somewhere you know it's just a lot quicker to do it like that um, here it is then, it is Chat GPT Writer, and I'll put a link underneath this video for you to be able to grab it as well. And then you can just watch this little video, or of course you, you've kind of learned really pretty much all there is to know about it through this video. Other than this, if I just slide this down a little bit so you can see all of my plugins... So you can just click on the icon up here in your extensions. And now, because there's nothing in the email context, it's just like using ChatGPT normally. So I can say to it, you know, uh, write me 10 tweets about uh, health. There we go. Click generate email. But what it's going to do is put the results of that. Uh, right there for you underneath and it's just like using chat GPT but for, in a more convenient way that you can access all the time just from your browser by clicking on that one little icon so um, look at that it's doing a great job there doing the tweets doing the hashtags and then you can just copy this content and then go and use it as normal. Look at it, whipping through here. Uh, regular checkups with a doctor can help catch potential health problems early on. This is good. This is good. And then um, you can get it from here, as I say. I'll put a link underneath this, and I think it's well worth um, downloading, especially as it's free right now. And uh, give it a review if you find it helpful. Let's help the guy out who has given this uh, to the community. And at the moment, as I say, it's completely free. I hope you found it useful and if you did please do like and subscribe to my channel as well and then I'll do more videos like this to try and speed up your productivity uh, using AI and ChatGPT. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.